Unit 9, Lesson 2 Test. Number 1. Which type of spacecraft will be best used to explore the surface of a planet? A. Satellite. B. Space probe. C. Space station. Number 2. Some places in the universe are too distant for humans to observe directly. Which of these technologies is used to observe these distant places? A. Probe. B. Rocket. C. Space shuttle. Number 3. Scientists use spacecraft to study a variety of objects in space. What benefits do unmanned spacecraft provide to space scientists? A. Instruments can be sent places humans cannot go. B. Instruments can replace analysis by human scientists. C. Instruments require more control over the environment than human spaceflight does. Number 4. The diagram below shows a configuration of several groups of satellites orbiting the Earth. What is most likely the purpose of these satellites? A. Data collection. B. Communication. C. Sample collection. Number 5. Carrying and studying types of spacecraft. Which of these spacecraft have people used to travel to and from orbits close to Earth? A. A space probe. B. A space shuttle. C. Space telescope. Number 6. The space age began in 1957 when the Soviet Union launched the first satellite. In which of the following locations would you expect to find a satellite? A. In the ocean. B. On a rover. C. Orbiting Earth. Number 7. Scientists at NASA are planning a human mission to the space station. Which of these spacecraft have they used to deliver astronauts to the space station? A. Space shuttle. B. Space probe. C. Artificial satellite. Number 8. Remote observation techniques can be used to view locations that are difficult to visit. Which of these choices is not an example of remote sensing? A. Humans collecting rock and soil samples on the moon. B. A telescope that orbits Earth collecting images of distant planets. C. An artificial satellite that orbits the sun measuring solar radiation. Number 9. Which of the following are two main categories of technology that humans use to explore space? A. Rockets and shuttles. B. Satellites and orbiters. C. Manned and unmanned. Number 10. In which of the following technologies do satellites work together to aid in navigation. A. Optical telescope. B. Interstellar space probe. C. Global positioning system. Number 11. Which of the following is an example of unmanned technology only? A. Lander. B. Space shuttle. C. Space, space station. Number 12. Which of the following is both a manned and unmanned technology? A. Lander. B. Orbiter. C. Rocket. 13. Satellites in orbit around the Earth are used for various purposes. For which one of the following purposes are satellites not used? A. Monitoring changes in the Earth's environment over time. B. Changing Earth's orbit. C. Collecting different types of weather data. Number 14. Why do astronauts who live on the space station have to exercise every day? A. There is not much else to do and exercising passes the time. B. It prevents their bones and muscles from weakening. See, it helps them to sleep better at night. Number 15. Which of the following is not an example of technology used in crewed space exploration? A. Space shuttle. B. A space station. C. A space telescope.